You going on the mic? You ready? Yeah. So all you with time. Which Never way am I going? All crowd. All crowd? Yes. Yeah. Whew. Man, hey, I appreciate all you guys sharing this moment with me. Um, I want to keep it, I want to keep it short and sweet because we had a, a thing out there where I said a whole bunch of stuff, but I just want to let you guys know from the bottom of my heart that I appreciate each and every one of you guys, even the, even the young kids that were too young for to even see me play. I appreciate you guys being here and the memories and the relationships and the friendships I built here are something I'm going to take with me the rest of my life. Um, just want to say thank you to everybody here, especially my mom, my dad who passed about a year and a half ago. He's not here physically, but I know he's here in spirit. And I just want to say uh, thank all you guys. Martin putting this together, everybody to put it together. Um, I appreciate you guys more than you'll ever know. And, um, and not only myself, you know, my teammates, we try to leave it on the floor each and every single game, even when things weren't going exactly the way we wanted them to go, you know, we, we, we tried our best and, and we love playing for the school and the city as well as our families and friends. So I just want to tell everybody thanks and, um, and let's get a win. Go Eagles! I first saw Troy, Troy Bell play when he was an eighth grader. He played for this uh, uh, AU team and Fred was his coach and Fred had talked to me about me, me, him coming here so I went to watch him play and his team was amazing and he was amazing. It was a tournament up in, uh, in the north, on the north side um, of the Twin Cities and it was great. So that was probably in the spring of his eighth grade year. I had started coaching uh, boys basketball in 1972 and Troy came in, I think, you know, in the, uh, I think he came in in 95. And um, I had never played a freshman before. I had freshman team, we had a freshman team here, sophomore, junior varsity, and varsity. And we usually had five teams, two freshmen and so on. And uh, Troy said, well, uh, his dad said, well, is he gonna play varsity? And I said, well, I've never played a freshman here before, but we'll should take a look. And I, I said, why don't you play in our summer league? We had a summer league at Normandale Community College. And uh, yeah, I put them on the varsity team on the, for the summer league. First game, 17 points, our best player. And I said to Fred, his dad, and Troy afterwards, yeah, you can play varsity. Did you ever have a pregame Pregame. Well, just my, I would, my pre, so my pregame ritual once after I met George was to meditate, take some time, meditate um, on the game, meditate on the scheme, our scheme, their scheme, you know, whatever, whatever we talked about, things we want to do defensively. That's all I really did pregame. I didn't have anything that I just stuck to all the time because what I tried to do was try to put in as much work a day or two before the game on myself as I could so that on the game day I could just rest. You know what I'm saying? I would just do more mental exercises and, um, and then just go to the game ready. No. No. What? I'm not dead. You're about to be dead. No, no, look it. What? Look it, the ground. Look at the ground, what? Look at the ground, it has no, nothing on it. I, I see that. You gotta keep your hand on your side. Nope. I was wondering why my guy was moving the wrong way. You cheating, <laughs> as usual. Cheating, cheating, cheating. No! Ooh, ooh, oh, 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 Yep, you got it. You won, I man. won the championship. I told you that. I told you that. But you know what, though? But did you win the tickle championship? <laughs> did you win the tickle championship or did you lose?
You know, he was a very consistent player. And I remember one night against Farmington, uh, the person who was keeping track of the book, and I uh, leaned over and I said, I don't think Troy had a particularly good night tonight as far as scoring. She said he had 45. And I said, 45? And then this is the way Troy scored. He had like four or five threes maybe, so that's 15 or 20. And then he had some steals and some layups. But he had like 14 free throws. And he made them, I think, most all of them, I think, or something like that. So this was, a, I call him kind of the silent killer. His senior year, he averaged over 30. I was thinking he had 28 to 32, and here he had 45. And uh, I'll never forget that game. And I said, see, when you have a player who surprises you by getting 45 points, you don't even realize it, you have uh, uh, something here. The best moments are always when you win stuff. So let, let, let's take that little moment. So describe how you go from starting off a season, your senior year, you know this is the last one, right. whether you should have left or whatever, this is right. the last right. one, right. We are, we, everything's gone, right. and what it takes to finish off the season at a championship. You know, it's just about staying the course, man. You know, by the time you're a senior, you know, yeah, you're, senior, you're the senior, leader, though. You're the yeah, yeah. I, you, you've seen some things, and um, and really, man, I just I, I got huge in them. I was already meditating and doing myself a George Mumford, but okay. I but I felt like I really turned a corner with my meditations, okay. which allowed me to like just kind of just kind of slow it down. Like sometimes, like literally, I felt like I was in the Matrix at the end when Neo just stopped the bullets, like, no, grab a bullet, like, oh, okay, got a little bullet here, throw this over here. That's how I felt, literally. Right. So, you know, and, 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 and thankfully, like, my, my legs were healthy, my knees felt good, especially coming after my junior year. So I felt like from a health standpoint, as long as I felt good, I could figure it out. And right. then with the meditation stuff, when I really turned a corner with that, that was really probably like, the biggest thing, because your teammates are going to do what they're going to do anyway. Right. So after that, it just becomes a what are you going to do? I forgot my head. You'll be oh. okay, Dad. Don't have a hood. You'll, You'll be okay, okay. Dad. It's cool, Dad. So why are no one wearing shorts? Okay. Should we introduce hey, everybody? This is Jamie. This we got a bunch of people here. We got Dre, yeah. Nikki, my daughter, Renee, who runs the AAU program. Some of these people came and visited when I was here, obviously a long time ago. That's my lady, John. That's my little son, Troy. I got something for you guys right in this bag, okay? Just to start us off right. So you guys can go through that. There's some good little things in there. you're going to be happy. Okay. I was going to mess around and be scared of the bear. You were just talking about a hat. Here you go. Some stuff right in there for you. What do you say? Thank you. You're welcome. I'm going to take you guys okay, yeah, down to the court. I think Mike has a quick put interview with you, yeah. and I'll take the whole family down the reception if that works. Okay. Yeah. Bring, but that sounds good. Yeah. So we'll walk you down this way. We <laughs> <laughs> that was like a surprise for you. So. Yeah. Wow, you made it. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> it's so good to have you back. I mean, you know, I've been here 27 years, so days like this are so cool, as you know, to, to have you back. Yeah, it's awesome. No, I'm, I'm, I'm glad with you guys. Good. All good. Well, we got a great day planned for you. So what does it mean to you to have your number retired at your alma mater? <laughs> you know, it's funny because I, I never, like when I was playing and doing my thing, I never envisioned this moment. Like, it was... I mean, I had great teammates and coaches, and we were just having a good time doing something that we, that we would have did for free. So to be here being honored is, it's amazing, you know, and just the love and support I've gotten from my teammates and, and uh, even people I don't know just reaching out, people whose lives you touched that you had no idea about. It's, it's been really cool, man. It really is. More than anything, man, like, I felt like if I had to see these guys every day, I want to be with some guys that I really, really like. And uh, I genuinely enjoyed my time there with the players. We didn't do anything extravagant. I just had a good feeling. And then um, I felt like Coach Skinner 
was the was just shooting me super straight. Not that other guys weren't, but I just felt like he was shooting me straight, and he he, he offered opportunity, and um and that's what I wanted more than anything was just an opportunity to play. How did you find out? When did, when did you find out? I mean, was it a phone call? Well, the AD actually gave me a call, and it was funny. I was laying with my daughter. Uh, we were asleep, and um, I knew he was gonna call, but we just the alarm. I don't know if I missed the alarm. And, uh, you know, I got a one-year-old, so I'm trying not to wake her up. And I think, I think uh, Jarman expected to be a little more excited. I was excited. It's just that I'm not waking up this one-year-old no matter what. You know what I mean? So it was, but it was cool, man. You know, it was cool. My the only thing I wish that everyone, all my family, the coach, I wish that my dad could have been around. My dad passed about a year and a half ago. But I know he's here. You know what I mean? It's just, it would have been, it would have been amazing if he could have made it. But you know how father time is. We, we got what we got. You know, it is what it is. See if Troy's around right now. Mark, how you doing, man? I'm good, brother. How you doing, man? I'm doing good. We loved having you back last year, man. I was looking at some of your numbers. All-time leading scorer, two-time Big East Player of the Year, two-time All-American. It's only right to, to have you forever be remembered um, in the rafters in county form, man. We're going to retire that jersey, brother. I appreciate it, man. Oh, yes, Lucy. Wow. No, the joke. <laughs> hey, you know what? Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, Jay, you gotta get a couple you of them like joints, man. <laughs> hey, man. You know, is this you know me? This is go <laughs> you know, this is gonna be on your head. <laughs> hey, this, this is funny. <laughs> hey, when I saw this on, oh, this, get in the bit. Hey, this is when I saw this on Instagram. I was like, I made it. I made it. I made, made it. it. I made it. You made it. I made it. I got a, I got a picture of it down on the, uh, in the reception room. With I'm, the I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to make that my, uh, my <laughs> Abby. Yeah. My Abby. Got to. Dude, that, that's too head. funny. Isn't that, that is too fun? Funny. That's too funny, man. I love it. Oh, I gotta go with him. Yeah, yeah, Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on. <laughs> Man, well, first of all, um, I can't even tell you guys how appreciative I am to see all these faces in here. Uh, man, like, so, so many of you were, were instrumental in, in all of my success. I got my high school coach there, uh, Gary Russell, started, started with him. And then Renee Pulley, who runs the Pulley program out of Minnesota, which is the AAU program, which is what got us noticed out of Minnesota, because without him, you wouldn't have saw us because nobody cared about what was happening in Minnesota <laughs> from, <laughs> from a basketball standpoint, as I'm sure you can imagine back then. Um, and then you got Coach Skinner and the coaching staff, Coach O'Shea, all those guys, you know, that, that believed in not only me, but, but the guys they brought in. And, and one thing that's so cool is like looking around at my teammates, like I got stories about all these guys and, and, and we, we shared so many good times, so many laughs, like it was a real brotherhood. And so I gotta, you know, I gotta just say thank you to the coaching staff, the coach Skinner and all the guys he had because they were recruiting like character guys, you know, guys that were genuine, like the friendships that, that we built, like they haven't, they haven't, we never took a step back. Like, you know, we raise our families, we do our thing and you can't communicate the way you used to, but. It, it still feels the same, you know? It, I remember like when we won the tournament, John, you, obviously you would know this, but, uh, but uh, my mom will tell you uh, up in Duluth, there's a place called Duluth, right? It's a small town. <laughs> and uh, it's like three hours away. And you were like the heartthrob of, I don't, you know, you gotta put the hair back on them, put the, put, the, put the muscles on them, give them the muscle suit. You know, white dude flying through the air, dunking on people. Like it was just totally different than you know, what people were used to, but you don't know this, but in Duluth, and I'm sure a bunch of other places you don't know, you were like a super heartthrob, you know what I mean? <laughs> and and I, got, I got Yuko over here, who was my freshman roommate. I remember me and him were trying to figure out who's gonna get the bottom bunk, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and we had like a little wrestling match for the bottom bunk. You know, getting advice at the right time is everything. You know, anybody can look back and say you should have did this, but getting advice at the right time is what we all need, you know? And, there's, I don't want to even miss nobody in this room that, that I'm supposed to be bringing up. George, um, you talk about the coach talk about the mental side of the game. George worked on us with the meditations, and um, I still use that today. You know, it's just 
it's just so cool, man. So I just want I just want to say thank you to all you guys that are here, you know, hanging and celebrating and uh, you know, I just I just couldn't ask for a better a better day, you know, so I appreciate it. I'm not gonna rub my mouth anymore. Uh, but I just appreciate all you guys, you know, coming to share this day. So let me give you guys a round of applause. I appreciate it. I appreciate all you guys. Oh, okay, right on. Yeah. Appreciate all you guys. Let's get some hugs. Awesome. Love it. Love it. I appreciate it. What's up, G? What's up, G? We have a couple more people that we want to bring up uh, for this celebration right now. And, uh, Gigi is a handful. Oh we'll start with uh, Cordell. Go ahead. Oh. What's up, man? I appreciate it. Hey, thank you for putting this together. Yes, absolutely. Right I'm going absolutely. around this way? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Congratulations, I'm I proud of you. I appreciate it. Love you. Love you too. I'm Bring so proud in. of you. I appreciate That's it. That's awesome, man. Love you, man. I love yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, you love already you. know. I appreciate y'all coming, man. I appreciate y'all coming. I appreciate y'all coming. I appreciate y'all coming. I appreciate you so much, Robin. Right on. Thank you for inviting me. Oh, come on, man. You already know. Love you, man. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Oh, yeah, I appreciate yeah, y'all. Congrats, man. That's fucking awesome. Congrats, man. Bring it in, man. Bring it in. All right, Gigi. I appreciate you, guys. Congratulations. Hey, I really appreciate you. He taught me, I think, how much skill he had that I didn't realize, hidden skill. He also taught me that he was so confident. I think just his uh, way he took things and the way he was appreciated by uh, people and it's to see him laugh and joke and, and he was always telling, um, people were always telling stories and he would have some great stories to tell me. So I think it just not long, he's a very enjoyable person. Up, I remember I woke up early like, let me see the paper, dad, let me see the paper. And then all of a sudden I saw King had 46 points. I was like, whoa. Uh, watching him play in high school uh, in Minnesota, uh, it was clear that there were big things to come for Troy Bell. He was good enough, he could jump out of the gym, he could shoot with anybody, great handles, but he worked, worked really hard. Mr. Bell, man, I wanted to give you a heartfelt congratulations, man. It's been a, it's been a fun road. You've been like a big brother to me since I don't even know when, because your birthday is a day and a year before mine. Uh, congratulations, all that hard work, all them Saturday mornings, all the push-ups, sit-ups, jump shots, free throws, all of the dribbling drills, everything, man. It's paid off. Long, long, long road. The journey continues. A lot more to come. Excited for you, man. Thankful for you uh, and all that you've been in my life as a role model and an inspiration for me. Thank you.